life is a mess and you're totally stressed out, just call Trent. Just call Trent. When your wife is cold as ice and you need some advice, just call Trent. Just call Trent. He'll shoot it straight and he won't say no. He'll just give you that advice and say, well, there you go. Ah, hello. Welcome to another episode of There You Go with Trent Mabry. I, of course, am your host, Trent Mabry. Today, my guest is Dwight Simmons. Hey, what's up? How are what's you? What's going Dwight? on? I'm oh, fantastic. Not much. We just had, yeah. we just talked before we started, so it doesn't really matter. We don't have to pretend like we didn't have a conversation I, already. Well, I have a terrible memory, Trent, so... <laughs> I'm be 100% honest. I wasn't warmed up to actually listen to what you're saying. So. Well, I mean, yeah. If, I if you could just refresh, refresh <laughs> me. How are well, you we talked it? about the we talked about the Super Bowl. Oh my God! So long ago. <laughs> <laughs> you got, got a memory like an elephant. Well, yeah, you're you're. I know. Well, you were hung. <laughs> you're probably hung over still. Uh no, it's probably time to start drinking again. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm to be honest with myself. <laughs> No, but you you recently had a big uh, uh, life changing uh, a moment, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I uh, bought new slacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling them slacks now. <laughs> oh, wow. I always call them slacks. Do you? Yeah. You've, n- you've never you've never been like I got new jeans or new pants. You've always been slacks. Yeah, I get up. I put on my slacks. How yes. old are you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, I call them jeans. I call them jeans. And I just turned 26. Okay. On Wednesday. Oh, congratulations. Happy birthday. You made it. Thanks. Yeah. You made it. <laughs> yeah, I made it. I got the big 26. Jesus. No, but I was going to you... say, I was going to say, you, you uh, won your fantasy football league. Oh, yeah. That was a good, uh, I think that's the best thing that's happened to me in the last 12 months. I mean, yeah, I think so. Yeah, besides getting engaged, of course. But uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm done talking about it. So let's, <laughs> the fantasy football was more of a win. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Oh, thank you. You're, there, you're, you're the Brady of uh, fantasy football leagues. That's what I've been hearing. I did win and then immediately voted for Trump. So I am in Brady <laughs> that way. So, hey, I did my part. It didn't work out like we wanted it, but. <laughs> yeah, you did have a MAGA hat hanging up behind you. It fell down before we started. Oh, my recording. God. But... Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't want to stay up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, That $200 put me in a new tax bracket and I had a new, uh, <laughs> had a new lease on life. <laughs> Just completely changed my worldview. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, it's been a good year for you so far. You won your fantasy football league. You got an extra two hundred. Yeah. Hey, listen, by uh by July I'll be unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yeah, I wore this shirt because I to oh remind, yeah to remind me because this I've been meaning to ask oh, you about this for like seven years now. I think you retired <laughs> in two thousand thirteen, yeah. but you. I was watching one time, and you were yeah. on the show. Yeah, the late Crazy. show with David Letterman. If you're listening to this on audio, yeah, I bet <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were on the show. Yeah, uh, that was uh, that was a fun experience. I just bullied my way into uh, into prominence there. <laughs> just. He does a, a Q and A before. Well, he did before he retired, yeah. but he does a big Q and A before uh, the show actually starts. And uh, my friend had, took me to the show, and he was like, "Ah, oh, this guy's a comic. This guy's a comic." And I was like, "This is freaking embarrassing." Yeah. And then uh, we just started chatting about comedy in front of a live audience. Wow, it's crazy. They're always like rolling the cameras too, so. Yeah. It, it ended up airing as a, I think he called back to me in the audience. He was doing an interview with Joan Rivers, who was just, uh, it was like one of her last interviews before she died. Whoa. So that was like, 
an honor and she was hilarious she killed it she was uh on a book tour and she's mm-hmm. like i've written like 12 13 books and uh <laughs> talking about how great of a writer she is uh and just the most filthy way so that was really special that was yeah, I was, yeah I was that jealous. was uh, I was jealous when I saw that was that great seven years ago and I never brought it seven up <laughs> I've been meaning to but I just keep forgetting yeah so yeah, we finally was, uh, got it on the podcast hey listen I don't like using it as a credit but sometimes these clubs don't want to act right <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You're on the, well it's no I'm different than people being on like they were in the background of boardwalk empire and then they say hbo oh yeah <laughs> yeah it's like i did it but if you watch the clip he tells he tells me i can use that as a credit he gave me explicit oh credit. yeah so yeah oh that's yeah. awesome you first name base i should and uh <laughs> joan was talking about how many books she had put out mm-hmm. and how she's the best uh jewish writer and <laughs> A Jewish female writer, and she's like, everybody thinks it's Anne Frank, but she only wrote one book <laughs> <laughs> and wrote 13 books. <laughs> Dave was like, uh, commercial. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, That's yeah, I love and that. Show. And now they're both dead. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't die, he just grew a beard, man. No, I was, talking about, I was talking about John Rivers and Anne Frank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So anyway, so you just you just lost your uh, your Jewish woman uh, <laughs> fan base. <laughs> oh, they're all dropping like flies anyway, I guess. But uh, <laughs> so anyway, if you you try, you know, as I explained it to him, but if you if this is the first time listening. Basically, what we do is we we read an email and give our advice. You can email me at advicefromtrent at gmail dot com. That's advicefromtrent at gmail dot com. All right, you ready, Dwight? Let's get into it. Love it. Let's go. I'm gonna pull up the email on my iPhone Seven Plus. Oh my goodness! <laughs> they were making pluses at seven. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the first one. They might actually there might be a six plus. Um, but I just got this a couple weeks ago. That was innovative. <laughs> so life's treating you good. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the only one doing well. The seven plus. My man's out here. <laughs> All right. So the email, the t- the subject line is help. Dear Trent. First off, I'd like to just say I'm a huge fan. And I love the podcast. I agree with almost everything you have to say. Keep up the good work. Two stars. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Does this person not know how the star system works? Yes, I don't know. I guess not. I'm one of my biggest fans. I know. It was, uh, maybe he was under, or they were under duress because it starts to help. Yeah. Well, I assume in all cap. <laughs> no, no, not all caps. <laughs> But an exclamation point. Okay, well, it's not that urgent. You got to all caps it. <laughs> this person's never sent an email before. <laughs> all caps help. Yeah, and then they mark it. Yeah. Or... yeah, two stars. That's that's. It's not thumbs, man. It's a different ranking <laughs> system. <laughs> got more options. <laughs> I know. Now I, here, here, let's continue. Now I can't really get into all the details. But about a month ago, my my husband and I were arrested in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. <laughs> and we're currently dealing with an exorbitant amount of legal fees. My question is, do you have any advice on how to make money quick? We'd ask our friends to help out, but they're all currently dealing with the same problems. <laughs> and our family will no longer talk to us. Any <laughs> ideas would help. Thanks in advance. Sign Q Anonymous. Oh my goodness. Q Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I can't uh I can't help but to picture someone getting ready to travel from wherever they're traveling from, uh like Oregon to go to DC and just binging your podcast. <laughs> just like on the way. <laughs> 
It's like rotating between your podcast and Alex Jones. <laughs> they just hit shuffle until they get well, the Well, we DC. do have some crossover fans. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> I wonder this, what, how many stars they give Alex Jones, though. Oh, man. I don't Maybe they're like, maybe it's like golf scoring. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe they think it's like golf. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure they uh, do love golf. Is, maybe it's a message. You know how they send coded messages. <laughs> <laughs> two stars what, really means. <laughs> what does two stars mean? Oh, man. Two stars means uh, <laughs> we are in your backyard or something <laughs> ridiculous like that. You are one of us. Uh, we're tapping your phone line. There's so much. I don't know. And they... they it only makes sense that they would ask uh, for financial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the greatest people you could ask for advice about how to make money are two comedians. Yeah, that's uh, that's not great, but I get it. You're probably not storming the Capitol and then filing for unemployment from your well, government. Well, no, we don't know if they stormed the Capitol. Uh, well, <laughs> they, doesn't say, they didn't get into it. Okay, Although, you're like... They did say, P.S., you know, how to the best way to return a podium <laughs> what that's a weird <laughs> ask for you don't you think yeah well you know reading it again i think yeah it is a little strange so yeah they, they storm the, well, you're like let's wait until we see all the facts <laughs> that's why these people like your podcast because you yeah. <laughs> no snap judgment for trent <laughs> Well, I'm still waiting for them to count all the votes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> they got 12,000 to find, and I think they're going to do it. I think so, too. I hope so. <laughs> At least. At least. <laughs> so how can these people make some money? Yeah. Any? You got any get-rich-quick schemes? I think, I mean, what Marjorie Green Taylor just did was just, what you do is go off the deep end. <laughs> you threaten a, a school shooting survivor. And then you started GoFundMe. Oh, you did say, she look- start a GoFundMe? I didn't, I oh. didn't uh, see that. Yeah, she raised like a hundred grand. Because she's wow. like, look at what I'm capable of. And people are like, Christ. here's all my money. <laughs> so for this line of thing, I think that's the way to go. You got to do some wild shit like that. Like, uh, yeah, threaten the Speaker of the House. <laughs> yeah, you got to threaten the Speaker of the House. You got uh, <laughs> to threaten a black baby. <laughs> and then you just crowdsource that shit that's the only way because how much how much is uh our legal fees realistically for something like know. this I've, never, I've, uh, I've never broken the law so i, I have I no can't, idea i can't believe that wait are you are you tapped <laughs> hey give me two stars if you're tapped <laughs> give me a signal Listen, I'm not gonna snitch on you, man. <laughs> You've never gotten in trouble. I no, I haven't. Man, that's I'm impressive. A, I'm a, yeah, I'm a good boy. That is some white shit. <laughs> that is <laughs> the whitest shit I've ever heard. I never, I've never yeah. even been pulled over. Really? Yeah. What kind of car do you drive? I drive a uh, Chrysler 200 2015. Okay. See, that's yeah. They're not pulling that over. It's like let that dude go. Yeah, it's like a just a, it's just a car. There's nothing special about it. So you've never broken the law, and you've never been in trouble. And these people that broke the law are in tremendous amount of trouble. (laughs) Ask you for advice. So you called me, your black friend who has broken the law, (laughs) for advice. These people are fucked, bro. Well, yeah. <laughs> they are. I mean, I already had David on. Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> he's had real experience with the law. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he's, he could do a master class. Yeah. <laughs> we all know what his advice for raising money would be. <laughs> They're slinging them rocks, baby. <laughs> uh, I Yeah, just an out of work uh, comedian who is trying to start a Patreon probably is not the best person to ask for advice, but uh, I would go with the GoFundMe, go with what works. You yeah, know? the GoFundMe, I like the GoFundMe. Yeah. 
Um, you know how much you can auction off a, a Pelosi podium for? Yeah, one of the rewards. Yeah. <laughs> that, that should be the highest one. You start you start with like some uh, pages that you ripped out of the <laughs> actual constitution. Yeah, <laughs> and an, uh, uh, an envelope. from. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just an envelope. <laughs> Look what I got from the Capitol. <laughs> I got some uh, shattered glass. Yeah, <laughs> some the, shards of glass. <laughs> some shards. <laughs> that's the that's the only way to go. I think so. I agree. I think probably the best thing would be to start a GoFundMe. I was also thinking it says her and her husband. Maybe they could start an OnlyFans. Oh my god! Like, I can't imagine how horrifying that would be. <laughs> I never want to see two white people having sex. I'm just assuming they're white. <laughs> I think that's my... a, I think that's safe. I think that's a safe assumption. Yeah, that's just my literal nightmare. I mean, how successful <laughs> could that be? I can't. You know, I it's think they. I'm sure people are into it. People uh, are into yeah, everything. I guess so. The population proved me wrong, but <laughs> my tastes are uh, higher than that. <laughs> These people got booted off of Facebook, Twitter, so maybe OnlyFans is the only site for them now. <laughs> it's yeah, OnlyFans and <laughs> Farmers Only. <laughs> only they start on OnlyFans and they can only promote it on Parlor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, this is a this is a rabbit hole I did not think I would go down ever. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> you know how hard it was for uh, Trump to find actual lawyers? That's what I'm worried about with these people. Yeah. Like, there's, that's going to be extremely difficult. Because like, <laughs> like, nearly everybody who got OJ off is dead. <laughs> <laughs> these lawyers that are dirty are in prison, so they're no help. I, yeah, I think, gonna, I think Giuliani's busy. Yeah, yeah, Giuliani. If Giuliani's your last hope, that is. <laughs> Did, now, didn't Trump hire, he just hired, like, the people that represented Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they uh, refused to prosecute Cosby. And then oh, they, yeah, that was it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also they represented Jeff Epstein. <laughs> It's like, what does Trump think he's in trouble for? <laughs> <laughs> you got the wrong line of fucking people here, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, they thought they he thought they caught him for something else. He's confused. <laughs> <laughs> Not on Twitter. Where is he supposed to get the information? <laughs> exactly. What's, yeah, what, what's he gonna do? Read? That's nonsense. <laughs> So a GoFundMe. Yeah. Uh, GoFundMe plus OnlyFans. Yeah, I think that's a good start. Put all you can put all your money in in GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> Raise that stock back up. I dig that. I dig the GameStop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that that was wild. That I, was. I was depressed that I missed that. Yeah, me too. I I, yeah. uh, I thought about I looked into it. I looked into it. It was already yeah. at like 300 bucks. Yeah, it was yeah, over. I think I it's done. Buy a share I, of that. Think I missed the boat. Yep. And then Might it went up to 400. I was like, yeah. ah, should have put my savings in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be it would have been uh, cheaper just to buy an actual GameStop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, legit. Maybe we should uh, forecast what the next big stock uh, pop will be. That that could help these people out. Like, <laughs> yeah. like is Blockbuster gonna make a comeback? Best Buy. <laughs> Best Buy. I I was actually I've been looking into the stock market because this has got me interested. Yeah. Best Buy is actually pretty high. Is it? Yeah, it's like for real. Uh, yeah, it's like a hundred bucks. I think. Damn. I know. 
Man, they're really uh what is it, the blue squad? The geek the squad. Tech service? The geek, the geek, squad. geek squad. Oh, thank you for correcting me so eagerly <laughs> with that. <laughs> That's Wait, why you're the best. I, I take my <laughs> I'm the best and I know my best buy. <laughs> That's the man right there. <laughs> but I was so, just at a Best Buy recently. I just bought a new computer. Oh, did you? Nice. Yeah. I just got a new computer too. Really? What did yeah, you get? Yeah, a little I got a ThinkPad. Oh. A ThinkPad. Yeah. What about you? Got a I got a MacBook Pro. Okay. iPhone 7 Plus. Got a MacBook <laughs> I'm Pro. In. I'm He's all in on the Apple, baby. <laughs> Driving a 95 Cutlass Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> you can Photoshop it. <laughs> no, I heard Apple was going to get into uh, like electric cars and stuff. Like, they're, like Tesla too. Hell yeah. I'd be down. I think I'm looking into uh, medicinal marijuana. Yeah? Yeah. Making it, making it legit. Get the big <laughs> jump. When Indiana starts to talk about it, that's how you know, like, this shit could be real. You know? Yeah, definitely. I and didn't know. Start... Is Indiana talking about it? I didn't know that. Yeah, just preliminarily. Like, we were the last state to get alcohol sales on Sunday. Like, yeah. Kentucky did that shit before us. Like, yeah, you never want to be the last state <laughs> for progress. But continuously, we always find a way. Uh, but they were like, yeah, we can, uh, we can talk about getting high legally. <laughs> <laughs> Not seriously, but <laughs> we'll talk uh, about it again in 10 years or so. I support, uh, the legalization of marijuana, but I have never smoked marijuana. Yeah. It's because it's against the law. You yeah, don't want to ruin your, exactly, but <laughs> <laughs> you can't ruin your pristine reputation. <laughs> not breaking the law man <laughs> exactly never you, smoked you've never, never gotten high nope nope no peer pressure or anything like that well i mean people have tried to peer. here's my thing i always if, if somebody is doing something if like a large like all my friends smoke yeah but i try to do the exact opposite of what everybody else is doing okay so like everyone's Chilling, having a good time. Yeah. Okay. And what are you doing? What's the exact opposite of chilling out? <laughs> I yell around. I yell and throw things. <laughs> You're just like doing Gognum style for no reason. <laughs> the fuck did this come from? <laughs> yeah. Yo, this ain't the vibe, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't like Psy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, who would have thought really... he'd be a one hit wonder? Oh man, I put all my money on that he wouldn't. <laughs> His sophomore album was going to be fire. That's why I didn't have any money left for my GameStop. GameStop. Oh, I went to Psy. What about AMC? They were trying to do the same thing with AMC. And, and Ooh, work. yeah. That's a bummer. I've missed going to movies. I had an AMC pass, like $20 a month. You can see like three movies a week really that's good. yeah that's a good deal yeah especially if you're like on the road you just gotta kill yeah. time during the day yeah. you'll see whatever movie like bad good i saw john wick 3 that was like one of the last movies i saw in theaters I'm good energy to... <laughs> i'm trying to think of the last movie i saw maybe in, uh the joker the joker oh no you know what i actually went to the movies uh now this might get me in trouble but i went uh oh, like oh, last man. month I went first last time month. in his life <laughs> oh friend you broke the law <laughs> <laughs> oh i know you're in there with sour patch kids and an extra large popcorn just... <laughs> yeah i took my mask off i threw yeah, it you did. <laughs> great that's some man there hasn't been that much drama in a movie theater since Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> You're out here in the street. I know. I felt like that was the biggest oh. risk I've ever taken. God, but I'm I so saw, proud of you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I saw uh, News of the World. I have no idea what that means. 
I don't know what those words put together for me. <laughs> it's got Tom Hanks in it. Oh, yeah. It's I love a Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks, Tom Hanks is this, joint. Is this the one he was filming when he got COVID? It might have been. He's like, it's yeah. like kind of like a Western. Okay. So and good. He saves this uh, girl from these people and uh okay take him back to her take her back to her family it's actually well, pretty good I i'm sold it. with that <laughs> i'm i'm just i can't wait to see it with that review <laughs> uh, that was fascinating <laughs> i like that tom hanks got covid filming a movie and then asked people to go <laughs> to see a movie to get covid <laughs> life is full circle <laughs> Now these probably these people that emailed me probably hate Tom Hanks. Yeah, they're probably not. Yeah. They're probably not a Tom, Tom Hanks fan. <laughs> <laughs> like they, uh, there was like a contingency online that will openly call the movie Forrest Gump retarded. <laughs> it's like, fuck well, Tom yeah. Hanks. Have you ever heard like the QAnon people? They think. Have you ever heard this Tom? They think Tom Hanks is a pedophile. They think he is too. Yeah, they think every apparently everybody. <laughs> what? How yeah. do you get there? That's wild. Yeah, I don't know. I never, I never got into that, and I also what? don't want to Google. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You so just I don't know why it. they think that. That is wild. I don't yeah. know how you, what clues you get to Tom Hanks being a pedophile. I gotta stop saying it out loud. <laughs> All my devices hear everything. <laughs> You're going to get suggestions for websites on your iPhone 7 Plus. <laughs> Not going to be happy about it. I know. Now, do you, what do you think? Do you have an Alexa? I have a Google Home. Oh. Yeah, Google yeah. Home. And I'm a Samsung guy. So all my stuff, Google are like, like, I got a ThinkPad because I don't not a windows guy or a uh, windows or a apple guy yeah i so, i uh before i had got my iphone 7 plus i had a samsung galaxy s3 oh my god <laughs> <laughs> how do you even remember all this i got the whatever this one is yeah last year's thin but yeah, yeah it would have been a minute it's been a minute I'm like I had shards of glass like falling out of my phone. Yeah, look so at this. Look light. at this. Maybe I am a risk taker. No case. That is ballsy. Yeah. My God. You are you're finding yourself in this COVID. This COVID <laughs> you are risky as hell. Well, i yeah, I mean, what do, that's what I what do we got to lose, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Still not gonna smoke that devil's lettuce though. <laughs> No, not yet. I'm waiting for not it yet. to be legal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what if, if you went to like Denver or Michigan? Yeah, I would. I, I, yeah. I, I'd toke up. Yeah, no, no. What? <laughs> All right, that's going to be it for me. Uh, <laughs> like, I am out of here. Toke up. I love it. Uh, but I, I'm like, uh, the the Alexa and stuff that really scares me because that's really listening to you all the time. All the time, like all the, the, time. the phone, it's listening to you, but I think not as much. Yeah, that's uh, that's my mom's argument. You think so? <laughs> like, yeah, like it all has the same ability. <laughs> that's why you can link one thing to the other. Yeah, but I have <laughs> all my stuff like, as far as I know, like turned yeah. off, like. Okay. I have I don't have the location thing on. Yeah. You don't have okay. So the uh I'm I'm starting to see why these people emailed and trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> you are really on some they can't hear my shit. I <laughs> they don't know where I am. <laughs> Ain't no government drone gonna take me out. <laughs> I turned off the location, so <laughs> that fixed everything. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then, someone they, was and then like, these people emailed me. They put it down in writing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was the email, was it an actual email? Or was it like cut out letters from a magazine? 
Yeah, they just they took a picture of it. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Through several different channels. <laughs> <laughs> This is, uh, I wish I was more, uh, help to these people so we could, uh, like get a follow up with them, but they're going to prison for sure. Yeah. They, they yeah. yeah. There's no, they're, they're fucked. You can't, <laughs> you know how desperate you got to be to email a podcast. <laughs> they so they saw Man, Joe. Not Zotic. even a popular one. <laughs> <laughs> they said Joe Exotic didn't get pardoned. <laughs> no chance for us. Fire off some, fire off some requests. <laughs> no, but when they do get released, I am gonna pay for a limousine to wait outside the prison. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh the podcast host thing to do. <laughs> yeah, right. By, by the time yeah. they get released, I'm hoping that. The podcast will start making money. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And I can afford. There you go. <laughs> I love that. Hold on. My dog is uh trying to get out. All right. Sorry, it's the escape from LA and they were they're done with this room. Ah, that's all right. They were uh, over it. <laughs> I don't blame them, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think I think we gave them good advice. What else can yeah. you tell them? Start a GoFundMe. Yeah, just follow the uh, just follow the game plan that's already worked. Right? Everybody. Yeah, everybody, everybody yeah. else that's gotten in trouble. Yeah. At this point, you can't start to backtrack. You got to lean in. You got to exactly. go. Full, full Q. <laughs> you got to go full, like, with a capital. <laughs> but stay away from the capital. But stay away from the capital. Yeah. Right? That's, that's... Oh, shit, I just got a uh, call from the FBI. Oh. <laughs> Inciting oh, violence. Well, I didn't get a call. You got to turn, was... your... turn off your <laughs> you location. Get... Fuck, he's right. You got to turn off the location. That's a found. <laughs> Dined out by Google again. <laughs> so, so I think, yeah, start a GoFundMe. If, if you don't get any bites on that, maybe get, get into the OnlyFans game. Yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, that's that's what we do. You got to start selling your body. You got to survive. <laughs> exactly. Think about the next genera- generation of conspiracy theorists. <laughs> oh, maybe that's <laughs> what they could do. They could start their own, like, their own website. Where like they an spread. academy? <laughs> yeah. Like where they spread. No, where they spread. Like they could be the next, uh, they could be the next Q. They could, they got to figure yeah. out a letter. They, you can't be, yeah, Q's take it. Yeah. Maybe. You got to be, you got to be R. No, you can't be R. That's R. Kelly. Uh, that one's taken. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be like, why? Maybe why? Sometimes why? Sometimes why I love it. I think <laughs> I think we're onto something. There you, yeah, there you go. Sometimes why get the domain why? name quick? <laughs> why it's must Squarespace? I be, <laughs> why must I be held accountable for my actions? <laughs> That's got a good ring. I like it. <laughs> so, so hopefully they act on that before they go to jail. Um, yeah. I don't, yeah, and I don't think we're going to get a follow up. I don't think they allow you uh, one email like they do. <laughs> one email. One they phone. really should update that. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't updated one phone call to one email in a long time. <laughs> one text. One text. You get one text. <laughs> you get one tweet. <laughs> but how will I reply? <laughs> oh, man. You better be good. <laughs> So there you go. I think that I think that's good advice. Start a GoFundMe. OnlyFans. Uh, nope. Peruse Wall Street bets on Reddit. <laughs> Try to find the next <laughs> big thing. Yeah, you can. Uh, they should sell their uh, their stars, their star system. I will oh. rate your <laughs> podcast appropriately for five hundred dollars. <laughs> well, then I'll pay them because they only give me yeah. two. 
Hey, huge fan. Huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> like Son. if you uh it's like after a show, you feel like you did well and someone's like, Hey, that was that was great. And uh like you wanna buy a CD? And they're like, nah. <laughs> i'm okay (laughs) yeah that's 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 the worst i'm okay (laughs) i i hate that and i hate when uh they go well i liked it oh no (laughs) no (laughs) the well Uh, makes it worse yeah (laughs) because the well's all the well's almost like whoo that was rough (laughs) man (laughs) but uh i like it rough (laughs) they're almost sadist you're not for everybody but. yeah it's a, damn sure ain't but uh <laughs> hey man keep writing keep writing <laughs> it's, oh god <laughs> you got a future doing something else <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i think that i think that's about it i think that's good i hope that helps them uh yeah. anything you want to plug dwight uh i started a patreon i'm doing yeah. a monthly show in a happy hour uh, it's just patreon.com slash Dwight Simmons. Also writing a bunch on there. So if you like short stories, I'm throwing a little bit of everything at you. So to stay sharp while this uh, COVID thing keeps going, because I'm not going to movie theaters like this <laughs> fucking rebel. <laughs> no, no, it was worth it despite my terrible synopsis. I, I recommend <laughs> it. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, what think happens it's... is uh, Tom Hanks is like a Western or something. Uh, it's, it's, uh, there's a lady in it. Uh, two stars, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth risking your life. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely subscribe yeah. to uh, Dwight's Patreon. He's a very funny uh, comic. And you can follow me on Twitter. At Trent Mabry on Instagram, Trent underscore Mabry, and like the podcast, rate the podcast more than two stars, <laughs> <laughs> and all that shit. Uh, there you go. I hope that helps. As always, this is Trent Mabry signing off. Bye bye. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Mercy. And maybe I seem a bit confused. Yeah, maybe. But I got you pegged. <laughs> But I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Scrambled eggs all over my face. What is a boy to do? Mabry has left the building.